Hello, I'm Elise and the administrator of Best Family Dogs website. I thought I'd try something a little different today and I've made us a video so I wanted to know if you'd like it. Um, you can leave me a comment in the comment area below and let me know if the video works out better for you than the actual articles that I post. It's just that it takes me a long time to get one article together and to post it up there and as you can see I've been really slow lately so I thought I'd give video a try and maybe I can get the content out just a little bit faster and that might be more helpful for some viewers so you can let me know and I'll go based on the feedback. But for today I wanted to talk to you about dog summer safety. There are a few things that I wanted to mention. Uh, in regards to the hotter weather and people having more fun outside and what this means for keeping our dogs safe. The number one thing is to make sure that your dog has enough water at all times. I would usually refill the bowl in the morning and again in the evening before bed. Um, but on a hotter day or if your dog drinks a lot, you're going to find that the water may be starting to get empty around noon, in which case we just need to refill it. So always make sure that your dog has an accessible source of fresh water. Um, another thing is about ice cubes. I have tried to use ice cubes before to cool the dog's water on an excessively hot day but it didn't work so well because dogs are not socialized to ice the way humans are. Um, they do not enjoy it and they do not need it. So, you know, if it's getting to be the afternoon and you yourself just want to cool the dog's water down, it's okay to use ice cubes, but I would probably let them melt before re-offering the bolt of water to the dog because what I have found in the past is that dogs are really weary of ice cubes, they don't know what they are, and they do not actually enjoy having you know, these cold clumps of ice in their water. So they tend to not drink the water in a situation where they need to be more encouraged to drink water. Um, so leave the ice cubes out. Room temperature water, even on a hot day, is fine for dogs. Don't worry about it. Just make sure they have fresh water at all times. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about is um, summer panting. Of course, it's normal that dogs pant when they get hot. They don't have the great ability like we do to give off heat. Um, the only way that they can reduce their body temperature is by panting and the bottoms of their feet uh, where their pads are is the only way that they have to cool themselves down. So again, this is where always having that water source is important so that they can drink a lot. Um, but even better, if you can literally get their feet wet or keep their feet wet, that makes a dog very happy in hot summer weather. So if you're at the beach or you can get the hose out around the outside of the house in the backyard or something like that, as long as the dog's feet are wet, he is very happy and he'll be cool or cooler. Um, another, another thing to watch for though along with the panting is that older dogs who especially might have some underlying health issues, this is more worrisome for them. They are even less effective at cooling themselves down, especially if they have any cardiac or sorry heart issues. You're going to want to watch for that. So when to worry about panting is when it becomes excessive and for prolonged periods of time. So you know your dog best, you know what their typical panting looks like on a warmer day. Uh, it should be a relaxed pant and it may or may not be consistent. It could be intermittent and that's fine. And even if it's consistent, as long as it's comfortable for the dog, that's okay too. Where we get into trouble and we might want to seek medical help is if the panting becomes excessive, it looks like the dog is struggling to pant, um, or the dog becomes excessively lethargic. So of course in the summer it's normal that your dog, especially with more exercise and with the warmth, is going to want to lie in a shady spot you know is gonna be taking it a little bit more easy and those are totally fine but when to worry is when the dog will not drink the water on his own and will not feed on his own where he's too lazy to do these basic things you need to seek medical help for that immediately and if especially if he's panting excessively on top of it so again older dogs um, it regardless are at higher risk in the summer months because you know, they just can't cope as well with the heat, and especially if they have any underlying health issues, especially heart issues, it's going to make it harder for them to tolerate heat. So keep your dog cool, and make sure he has lots of water, and do what you can um, to keep a nice breeze going around him or her so that um, they don't get overwhelmed. 
The other thing, of course, is to not keep them in hot cars. Um, you know, of course, if you're going from A to B with your dog in the car, it's okay because you're driving, you're both in the same cab, you've got, you know, the air conditioning going, you've got the windows down, there's decent ventilation. But when you leave that car, you need to always be taking your dog with you. It's too hot for them to stay there. Um, the other thing is about knowing the plants and the bushes, the flowers that grow in your area. Make sure that you keep them away from things like poison ivy because although although it's not super toxic, it will cause a lot of discomfort to the dog and it may not be safe even to ingest. Um, but topically, it will cause a lot of discomfort to your dog. And the other thing is to know what kinds of plants and flowers might be poisonous and what kind of weeds might be poisonous so that your dog doesn't ingest them while you're out and about, you know. Um, so please be aware of that because those can lead to medical emergencies as well And I just want you guys to be safe and have fun over the summer and enjoy your dog and challenge your dog Because now is the time where you can be really creative uh, With outdoor stuff, but just be safe and have fun and I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye